come His Excellency Mr. Vavel John Charles Ram Kalovan, President of Seychelles. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I send before you fellow leaders of our nations, thus of our planet, neither as a scientist nor as an environmental expert, but as a citizen of our beautiful planet, and more specifically as an island boy facing reality. What I experience in my beautiful islands that most visitors describe as paradise is the destruction of our environment and livelihood. This, I am sure, is what we all see in the various parts of the world we come from, be it flooding, forest fires, extreme temperatures, delayed rainy seasons, coastal erosion, destruction of wildlife, fewer and smaller fish, and many more. These, unfortunately, are all part of the destruction process of planet Earth and the self-imposed eventual extinction of the planet's most intelligent species, the human being. Some of the questions that our young people are asking us and which should touch our conscience as guardians of this oxygen-blessed planet are, Leaders, when are you going to shift from words to action? When are you going to stop making empty promises? When are you going to start taking us and our future seriously? When are you going to show that you actually care? These are damning questions that will confirm our legacy. Forget about mammoth achievements. For one second, we must all look at the mandate bestowed on us and allow our decisions to surpass political considerations and repose on only one agenda, the survival of our planet. Our people want a better life, and this starts by being alive. Seychelles is a victim. So are other small island developing states. We suffer the effects and consequences of industrialization and climate change. We are already gasping for survival. When I hear the expression rise in sea level, I am scared because it brings home the awareness that my country's granitic islands will lose all the economic activities happening around the coast. And I also realize that the beautiful archipelago of 115 islands that we are today may be reduced to less than 50 as our coral islands disappear, including the Aldebra Atoll, our gift to humanity. Fellow leaders, from the Seychelles, our message is simple. We have to act immediately. The environment partnership to save our planet must happen here in Glasgow 2021. Let COP26 be the determining point let the change be a real one. Let the paradigm shift happen. May the industrialized nations understand that they cannot continue polluting without reserve. May those who exploit without thinking of tomorrow stop. May the corrupt poachers of our planet change their ways. And may we realize that in this battle to save our planet, we are not in the proverbial same boat, but that we are indeed in the same boat, big, small, rich, or poor. The disaster experienced by COVID-19 will be seen as but a breeze. For COVID, the world came together and developed the vaccine. For the protection of our planet, the only vaccine is our sincere commitment and concrete actions. In other words, we have to be honest and action-oriented. I plead with the rich nations to look at the less fortunate ones of, as equal partners. Can we agree, for example, to put an end to the expression high income earning in order to accept a vulnerability index 
whereby we will not be measured according to the sacrifice, the hard work, planning, and devotion to serve our people, but rather on how vulnerable we actually are. Seychelles is considered high income, but overnight it lost 75% of its tourism industry due to COVID-19, and the world stopped for my people. This is vulnerability. Can we, the ones who are less responsible for the planet's destruction, but who on the contrary are doing our utmost, like preserving our limited landmass or EZ, be held generously when we are protecting our coastlines, preserving our disappearing islands, managing seagrass meadows larger than Switzerland, or fighting IUU fishing activities. Our message is, we cannot do it with our limited resources. We need your contribution. We have one mission today, Mr. President, and that is to save our planet. In order to accomplish the task, we have to come together and act immediately. The partnership is for yesterday. Tomorrow is not an option, for it will be too late. The African proverb resonates loudly in my head. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. But today at COP26, my ancestors from Africa are asking me to tweak this proverb. If you want to destroy the planet quickly, go alone. If you want to save the planet, let us do it together. Our youth and future generations are pleading and counting on us. Our children, babies, and Mother Nature herself are telling us loudly and clearly, no hypocrisy, no make-belief, no empty promises, no hot air. Rather, they want our commitment, steadfastness, and resolve. So from Seychelles, we are doing our best. We are committed, however small we are. Let us not disappoint our youth and the world, but rather, as one human race, let us save our habitat, and by doing so, let us save our planet and ensure the survival of our beautiful Mother Earth. The time to act is yesterday. I thank you.